For this week's video, I'm going to be vlogging on my iPhone with no additional audio equipment so that you can see what is possible for you. Before we dive in, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Amanda Horvath and I'm all about helping business owners and entrepreneurs leverage the power of video without breaking the bank or taking up tons of their time. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. So that I have something to talk to you guys about throughout this vlog, I'm going to be taking you guys on a shopping trip with me because I want to redo this area of my room. Get a little desk, a little seating area, maybe I mount my TV or do something to really bring the room together. So let's go do that. So I stopped by the studio super quick to grab these guys, which is my Gorilla Pod or a Tentacle. Basically, this just helps me get a variety of different shots instead of having to hold the phone out always. Definitely recommend doing grabbing one of these if you're going to be doing vlogs a lot. So one of my biggest tips for vlogging in general is to think about what your vlog is going to be about. It's also kind of fun to come up with a narrative underneath the key points that I'm hitting. So obviously the narrative in this video is to go buy a desk for my room. Fingers crossed I find one. That's totally the one. So I got the desk, I actually had in mind already what desk I was looking for and they had it. So now let's take it home and assemble it to see if it works. This is gonna be fun to carry in. All right, so here's the reality of vlogging in public. It is super, super awkward. If you feel awkward vlogging in public, don't worry, you are certainly not alone. That's really why I didn't do much talking to the camera when I was actually in the store. You can use stuff like B-roll and time lapses to really mix up your footage and still tell the story without having to talk directly to your phone. So in addition to time lapses, you can use B-roll to kind of switch things up. So if I was to show you what tools I needed, I could say, hey, I need a Phillips flathead and a hammer. And that's how I might use B-roll to make that more interesting instead of just saying, I need a Phillips, a flathead and a hammer. I'm going to be releasing a video all about this very soon, specifically how to shoot better B-roll on your iPhone. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe. Look how handy. They tell me what step two is. Pretty cool. How do I open it? If you aim to switch up your camera as often as possible, then your vlog is going to be super engaging. My first step is to add these wooden dowels into these legs. Another key element to making iPhone footage look good is to have a lot of natural light. There's a window there, there, and there, so there's lots of natural light in this room. If my room was a little bit darker, I would either bring in a light source or I would move to a lighter room. Screw, lock washer, other washer, until I've done all of them. Be sure to switch things up by getting really strange angles like this one. I'm getting excited! In an attempt to keep your audience retention high, you wanna keep your talking points very short and sweet. If you find that you're really rambling on and on, then go ahead and add jump cuts to speed up how quickly you're getting your words out. Voila! Beautiful desk is complete! Super stoked to have it in this room and have taken you guys along the ride with me. So my final tip that I'm going to give you guys is that you need to have faith that your video is going to come together in the end and you have to have follow through to actually piece it together and massage it out in the editing. A lot of people, they might go to the effort to film something, but if they're not going to edit it and take time to put it together, then they're no better off for having shot it. So have faith that it's going to come together and follow through.
So when you're vlogging, you really want to make sure that there's no background noise. So right now I'm actually going through a car wash and I want you to hear how annoying that sound is. So I just made a super 